month away from the start of a season, we're actually looking really good. Um, it's funny because every year in fall, you go through this preseason kind of lull, like in October, and then you start seeing glimpses of brilliance, and you start seeing what your team is really going to look like. And I started seeing that, uh, I think it was a week and a half ago or so, at our Meet the Bruins. And they were in front of a live audience, and I was finally able to really get excited about our potential. And then we came back from Thanksgiving break, and they're just as excited, and they're just as on point. And so, and we're having little breakthroughs almost every day. So it's, it's... It's really exciting to go in the gym. It's kind of like popcorn. It's like, you're going to see, what, what are we going to get today? This season is the first season in about 14 years that we haven't had a standout superstar type of athlete. You know, we've got a lot of great athletes, and by all account, probably Elise Hoffner Hibbs coming off of the Olympic Games should probably be our star athlete, but um, she certainly doesn't have the, that type of a personality. She just blends in with the team. She has great gymnastics. And her gymnastics is, is definitely of star quality. But um, the team is really even as far as personality, demeanor, character. They're very much a team. And so because of that, we've been able to do a lot more of fun, de developmental team types of things with them. And it's been from a coaching fun from a coaching perspective to just get creative and see how can we create a team atmosphere and team competitiveness outside of just using gymnastic skills and intra-squads. Uh, so that's been different this year than in quite a few years past. <clears throat> we did a crazy, a crazy thing at camp this year where we put them on the floor, divided them up into three groups. There was about uh, five per group and we gave them random objects that they had to get across from one floor side of the floor to the other side of the floor. But they couldn't touch the floor. And they also had to carry a piece of foam that couldn't touch the floor. So they had to stay on, like, there was a ball, there was a folding mat, there was these random types of objects that they, all of the objects had to get across the floor. You couldn't touch the floor, and the, the foam block couldn't touch the floor. And so it was fun to see who rose as leaders, who took leadership, <laughs> And she'll kill me for saying this, but everyone knows, our team now knows that Ariana Berlin is one of our stalwart leaders. I mean, she is just an amazing leader. She was horrible <laughs> at this, we'll call it a game, because she just charged. There was no thought process behind it. There was no, let's figure out the best way to get it done. It was just, just climb on top of the ball and start moving things. And every team she has been a part of that we've, done this project with has lost. And so it was really, it's been really a fun thing to do. The team this year is, is we're actually developing a healthy competitive spirit. It's not something that they're coming in with. They're, I would almost say a little too nice, some of them. And I'm, we're trying to explain to them that if you will challenge your teammate to beat your teammate out of her spot, you're actually making the team better. You're going to make her better, you're going to make yourself better, you're going to make the team better. We've got a handful that understand that, and we have a handful that are just, they're so happy to be here. They're so appreciative of the opportunity. They're just nice. And uh, I remember a few years ago saying this team is just too nice. But it's a good competitive spirit, but they need, we're working daily on their competitiveness. P.J. Irvin brings a great dynamic to our program that we've never had. He leads our warm-up every morning like a drill sergeant out on the football field. He's yelling at them. The music's blaring. He's just in their ear. They don't even know what he's saying because he's yelling so loud and so fast. But he's just, he gets them going. And since we train in the mornings, you can't help but start sweating and get your blood going. And, and there's no way they can be sluggish with him in your ear. And it's a great dynamic that we've never had, and we probably won't have after he leaves. Um, it's hard to duplicate that, because he definitely brings that football mentality. He also gets away with saying a lot of things that we can't say. You know, he'll, he'll make comments to them that we wouldn't dare to say to them. And he makes them in a joking manner, but because he's PJ and he's like their big brother, he gets away with saying them. And it's been really beneficial to our program. 
The number one thing when I'm asked about our team's strengths is the fact that they are all extremely coachable. We have got 10 freshmen, which includes two team managers, um, so we've got a, and we have five sophomores, so we have a very strong lower class, lots of numbers. Um, and so you're going to deal, you're going to have the issues that freshmen have just getting acclimated to a new system. But even when they screw up, they are all extremely coachable and, and apologetic. Um, I don't have, there aren't any attitudes on the team. So there's no one that responds negatively to a team punishment or an individual punishment or rope climb or whatever it may be. Um, I think that is our strength, is, is the character of each of the individuals and how they combine to make up a team. As far as the injury situation goes, it's a catch-22. With Anna, Lee, and Christina come 40, we're holding them back and really not worrying about them being ready for the beginning of the season. We will hopefully have Anna maybe in February, and with Christina we really don't know. Um, Christina's other shoulder is bad, and um, we really have no idea how that's going to go. Brittany and Anna Lee had bone spurs taken out mm, about two weeks ago, but that, that was actually an elective surgery to help them feel better. That wasn't like an injury that they had to have surgery on. So um, Brittany's calling me along a little faster than Anna. Um, other than that, we've been able to manage the injuries that came in this season very, very well. Some of our freshmen, almost all of our freshmen, came in with very bad ankle sprains. Um, from Geo Nationals, and we've actually managed those extremely well. So the, the only thing that we're doing a little bit differently is we're working harder less days of the week. We purposefully went out and sought recruits, especially in the Southern California area, that could be a part of our program and contribute in maybe one or two events. Um, and we did this to help with any injuries that might prop up. Um, we did that to help with any injuries that might crop up. And uh, I think it's helped the overall dynamic in the gym because when one of them does one little something new everybody gets excited about it. So there's more energy around the gym versus when you only have a small handful of, of athletes training, it can get mundane. But when you have more athletes, you have more opportunity then for someone to rise to the occasion or for someone to have a great day. And that brings the energy up of everybody else. Um, I'll never forget the day that uh, Tiffany Highland learned Adelchev. And it was huge. She learned it in about three weeks. And then there was the day that she caught three in a row. And it just, it ignites the entire gym. And to have 18 student athletes on the team and have be able to, one of them's going to have a great day. Something wonderful happen each day when you have that many variables. So I think that's really helped.